Well, good Monday morning to you. Welcome to our live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy with Doctors Jeb and Janine Fox of Doctors Hello. Nutrition. Morning. Located on Cowan Road in Gulfport, just south of Pass Road, across from the old Garden Center or the old Kmart over on uh, Cowan Road. Uh, our phone lines are 896-0713, 800-349-0713. As we invite you to call in and ask a question pertaining to today's subject or to anything in particular that may be ailing you or questions that uh, you may have, of course, to uh, try to live a healthier lifestyle. Mr. Lee is on the phone lines this morning. Be glad to take your calls. If you want to be on the air li uh, with them live, that's fine. Ask him a question or you can just pass the question along and uh, he will pass it along to us. Talking about something this morning that everybody has. Oh, everybody. Yeah. It's just like, you know, there's no getting around it from the newborn baby up to the uh, centennial or whatever you want to call them, the Dr. old folks, yeah, right. uh, the uh, more really mature folks, people. Right? Yes, there <laughs> you go. Uh, yes, the more mature can. people, and that's your nervous system. I mean, your nervous system goes throughout your entire body and affects so many different things in your body. Um, Everything. And, and then things that you put into your body sometimes affect your <laughs> nervous system. So it's like a, it's, it's a catch-22 <laughs> there. That's so that, that's what we're talking about this morning is, is your nervous system uh, because it does. It transmits signals to different parts of your body. Your brain tells your arm to move and um, right. it's just, you know, your uh, um, your stomach tells you that, or your brain tells your stomach, you didn't, shouldn't eat that. So um, And vice versa. And vice versa. Know, <laughs> the, the, the stomach sends signals to the brain. The Saying, brain sends, I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah, uh, it's there, there's so many things, you know, like say it, it controls your heart, it controls your liver, your lungs, everything, things you don't think about, you know. That it's, it's automatic. It's automatic. There, there's, matter of fact, there's that part of the nervous system we want to talk about, there's the the, uh, the part of the nervous system called the autonomic, which right. is that's the stuff that happens that you don't have to think about. You don't have to think about, well, I better breathe. Um, you know, it just happens automatically. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have, it's divided into two, two. segments. Uh, you know, I think the, the sympathetic and parasympathetic. Sympathetic is what you call your fight and flight. Okay, the saber toothed tiger is coming after you, you got to run. Um, that's one that that's gears us up and, and does certain things. It shuts certain things down like digestion. Mm -hmm. It shuts that down and gets all of the the blood supply and everything and all the energy to that the, the muscles and to run and get away from something. And then we have the parasympathetics, which is the one where we relax and and um, you know kind of take life easy and okay. Yeah. Well, we have a question already oh. on the air, uh, Lisa. Um, all right, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I had a C-section back in July, and um, they did a spinal block on my back, and they stuck me several times um, to attempt to numb me from the mm -hmm. waist down. And ever since then, well, maybe a month later, I've started feeling tingling mm -hmm. in my back on the left, on the right side of my back, and I've, I've never experienced that before. Could that be a part of, um, you know, getting the spinal block? Definitely. Definitely. There's no a doubt. lot of side effects to spinal blocks, and usually the, some of the things that you sign before you have it tell you all that. But a lot of people, of course, don't read the fine print. But there are yeah. things, ting, tingling and numbness are big symptoms of nerve problems. And now there might be some things, and you might, we're going to talk in a minute, there's a lot of nutritional deficiencies that can affect the healing of the areas. Right. And maybe you're deficient in an area and you can't heal, because a lot of times that happens, but then you heal over time. So there might be some nutritional deficiencies that you have that's keeping you from healing. My suggestion would be, we have a multivitamin called Megabyte Sling. It has all your B vitamins, which are essential for spinal nerves, and it has something called arlipoic acid in a pretty high amount that helps repair. And so that's probably something I would do to see if it helped, but it probably is from doing that. You know, and, and she just said that, you know, she had a, a C-section, right. and typically, so, okay, we've had a pregnancy, your body's went through some pretty severe changes uh, in its nutritional status all the way around. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure she's probably dealing with some uh, nutritional deficiencies, no doubt. All right. Thank you very Thank much you. for your call, Thanks, Lisa. Lisa. And Good of course, call. Uh, you can call the doctors. Uh, 897 0070 mm -hmm. is the number there at Doctors Nutrition. They're open six days a week uh, from uh, 10 till 5, Monday through Friday, uh, 11 till 2 on Saturdays, and the doctors are there. Uh, Monday through Thursday. Right. And uh, the, the great thing about it, if you have any questions, you can stop by, ask a uh, consultation is absolutely free and you don't have to have an appointment. Strange for a doctor's office, don't you think? But, uh, <laughs> a little bit different. Than, <laughs> but uh, that's, why, uh, that's why they do so well we there were, in helping people. I wanted to add something. He was talking about the autonomic nervous system mm -hmm. before the call. And we, there's more and more problems that we're seeing with the autonomic nervous system. 
and people don't even realize sometimes that's what's doing it. Um, people that have, there's a lot of people they have what they call sympathetic overload, which is stress. Um, stress to the body does not have to just be emotional stress. It can be physical stress. It can be nutritional deficiency stress. It can be structural mm -hmm. stress. It can be infection. It can be all these things and that affects overload, yeah. toxic overload. Mm -hmm. and it all affects the autonomic nervous system. But we see a lot of people because of daily stress in sympathetic overload, which will actually make you have tachycardia, which is a fast heart rate. It'll make high blood pressure. It'll make anxiety and panic attacks. And so a lot of that comes along with the sympathetic nervous system. And then you see the group of people that's having what they call dysautonomia, which is more and more we're seeing. We're seeing more and more of that. And what it is is years of probably sympathetic overload. Their body starts, the parasympathetic start trying to control it and instead it shuts it down. So then you start having drops in blood pressure, passing out, mm -hmm. some of the vasovagal um, syncope, some of the fainting spells. There's a lot of things and there's things that you can do for it. So I was, we did want to mention that because we're seeing more and more and more and more of it. We, we do. I mean, it's something that, you know, 20, 25 years ago, it was rare. And today, it's, it's extremely common. Well, don't you think that, to, I mean, in today's world, I mean, there, we have more problems that we worry about and that we deal with than we did 25 years ago. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, that, that can bring on those <laughs> stressful moments. Right. Yes. Because you're oh, saying that, that, you know, that stress, uh, you know, uh, aggravates a lot of this. Well, even social media which we didn't have when, when I was growing up. No, me neither. Um, and you, no. I mean, none of, yeah, def no. definitely not when y'all yeah, we were play. growing up. <laughs> if it wasn't there when I was there, it definitely wasn't with y'all. But anyway, about our age <laughs> or something? Mm -hmm. I mean, they've yeah. actually okay. shown, there's a lot of research out there where it's constant stimulus. Mm -hmm. And constant stimulus does affect the nervous system. It, so you don't ever have that rest. You don't have that relaction. Don't have that you don't downtime. Have, yeah, when people yeah. think they're yeah. relaxing and instead they're on their computer, that's not really relaxing the brain. It's not relaxing, it's not, you know, completely shutting down. You know, not too long ago, and it's just as a for instance, I was driving across the, the, the Back Bay Bridge mm -hmm. at uh, Pops Ferry, and there was a, a fellow out there with some fishing poles out in the water. Should be a nice, relaxing time, right? Thinking yeah. about that fish going to bite and all that. And he had his tablet out. And I'm thinking, He's not even relaxing. Doesn't even need downtime, even when he's fishing. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's so. That's now that's when how I go fishing, <laughs> electronic stuff yeah. stays, stays in home. the truck. Stays right. in it should. Yeah, it, it should. should. People yeah. don't relax yeah. enough anymore. Yeah. All right. Our phone lines are 896-0713-800-349-0713. We're talking about your nervous system this morning. Things that affect it. Things right. that you can do to uh, help it, make it healthy. Uh, you can feel free to uh, give us a call if you would, and we'll be back in just a moment on our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. And welcome back to our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy with Dr. Jim and Janine Fox of Doctors Nutrition on Cowan Road in Gulfport, just south of Pass Road. Our phone lines are 896-0713-800-349-0713. If you have a question regarding today's um, topic of um, talking about the nervous system or anything particular that you've been holding on to over the weekend that you wish to uh, ask them about, please feel free to give us a call. You can ask them personally or we'll uh, pass the question along to uh, Lee and he'll be glad to pass that along to them. Um, we're talking about the nervous system, so uh, neuropathy mm. is yes. part of the nervous system. One of the most common problems we see today. Really? It is. Mm. You see so much of the neuropathy and I mean, it, if you're diabetics, everybody thinks of diabetic neuropathy. And yes, no question, high blood sugar damages the nerves which cause neuropathy. No question, but there's a lot of other things that do it also. A lot of people that come in that tell us they have neuropathy, they say, but I'm not diabetic. And so there's a lot of other things. And many of those people, even in some of the diabetics over the years, mm -hmm. when we check their B12, it's rock bottom low. And B12 is so easy to help. I mean, that's a problem that can be helped. And a B12 deficiency is one of the most common deficiencies to cause neuropathies. It is. There's other deficiencies as well that, as well that can do it. Mm -hmm. B1 deficiency, mm -hmm. you can have a thiamine deficiency, you can have a niacin deficiency, you can have a B6 deficiency. B6 is one of those that too little can make a neuropathy, too much can make a neuropathy as well. So there's a fine line between too much and too little. Um, copper deficiency, people don't think about that. 
and but people are deficient in copper. Now that's not a reason just to go out and take a bunch of copper because not everybody needs copper. Remember when they used to? You could go buy these little copper bands or something. You still can. Right you still can. Really? You still yeah. can. And they they're good. They're good for arthritis. Copper is known to help arthritis. Right. Really? Yeah, yes. Right. I was and, a little, always a little skeptical I, about those no, things. No. But no. I've seen some. I've seen some, some, some good results with it. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. and it's like I said, the copper change. deficiency can actually right. make the neuropathy too. But vitamin E deficiency. Now, vitamin E, they think it's more about the protective mechanism it has over the nerves. And any of your fat solubles and fats help with the myelin sheath that actually protects the nerve. And so anytime you decrease the myelin sheath at all, you're going to have some nerve problems. Now, that, I think, you know, when you, and, you know, she brought up the thing about the diabetic neuropathies and so on. One of the things that the research is kind of coming out with in the past year or so says that, you know, when the hemoglobin A1C, when it goes above 5.5, we're starting in that glycation problem. The, and then, you know, so, okay, you got a person that's, you know, they're, they're 5.5, no, you're not diabetic, but at the same time, you're starting to have some damage to, this, to these nerves. And if you're deficient in, in some of these nutrients that we just talked about, you're gonna have problems. Now, the person that's not deficient in that and has a 5.5 is probably gonna be okay. But if you're deficient in some of these basic nutrients, you know, the, the, what we call the, the A, Bs, Cs, and Ds, mm -hmm. you know, if you get all that and you're deficient in like B12 and you have a 5.5 or 5.6, which is still in range, you're not diabetic, but you're causing damage and your body can't heal. That's the key. You know, and I think that's the underlying story on this nervous system. It needs so many nutrients. And like we looked, mm -hmm. you know, look at the stats on, on B12. Some like 40% or more of the population that's you guys out there, mm -hmm. are deficient in B12. Well, as, as y'all, <clears throat> we mentioned so many times, you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago, you know, we've got all our nutrition through our, food. <clears throat> our foods, things mm -hmm. that we grew, things yeah. that were more natural, didn't have all these uh, preservatives and well, yeah, full of you, uh, antibiotics and stuff packed right. in them. So, and mm -hmm. that stuff, uh, you know, it just... Uh, right. Uh, question on here, a healthy male needs natural dietary sup supplement for erectile dysfunction. What do you recommend? Okay, that's not a healthy male, first. Yeah. You, for, you gotta understand that. If you got uh, ED, there's a there, problem. There's a problem going yeah. on. And now, the first thing is to try to figure out the problem. You wanna try to figure out, is it a blood supply or is it actually a nerve problem? Because there's just some really interesting research that just hit, you know, our old friend Ginkgo Biloba. Everybody's mm -hmm. heard about Ginkgo. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the rat model, our mouse model, they actually damage the nerve just like you'd have with a prostatectomy, you know, where they, and they showed that outside and other than just the increasing blood flow, that the ginkgo actually helped reestablish good nerve conduction. So they're, they're still scratching their heads over that one, but there's one thing right there, but you know, and-, and It, it can know, be nerve, nerve blood flow, blood flow. Or, or hormones. Um, so you have to look and you can check the hormones. Now, if it's blood flow, we have a product called Amino Flow that works really, really well good. for ED. Mm -hmm. Um, it also brings down blood pressure, so a lot of problems, in, a lot of things increase blood pressure, it does not. Um, if it is hormonal, we have something called AndroBuild or even DHEA. Mm -hmm. And if it's a nerve problem, then we have, you want to figure out which nutrient is deficient, but then maybe B12 and like maybe ginkgo biloba right. and some of the things that actually help with nerve damage. So there's a lot of things you can do for that naturally. Yeah, I mean, so, so that's the thing. You want to, first thing you want to do is find out what's wrong. Yep. Then we can fix it. Okay. Uh, Cheryl is on the phone from Biloxi uh, with a question for us. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning. Good morning. Um, my husband's uh, diabetic, okay. mm -hmm. and I have two bulging discs, okay. and so we both are dealing with nerve pain in different ways. Mm -hmm. But um, I was just wondering about the vitamins we buy off the shelf, um, if they're really doing us any good. Uh, it depends on what shelf you're buying them off of. Uh, <laughs> well, Walmart, Sam's. Okay, you know. okay. As we say, big box stores. No, probably. You know, most of those things, Cheryl, are, are basically synthetics. And most of your synthetics, and, and, and at, even at very low percentage points, too. In other words, you, you might have a milligram of something when you need 50. Right. You know, something like that. So, yes, you're, you're probably not getting the right kind of nutrients that you need. And also the and, forms of the nutrients. We right. keep talking about V12. Um, Cyanocobalamin is your most common source of B12. That's not what we use. We use methylcobalamin. And sure. when you look at some of, even a few months back, it's probably eight or 10 months ago, where the state of New York did a cease and desist order on a lot of the big box stores, um, including 
um, Target, moves it, Walmart, right. mm -hmm. um, CVA. I, I think Tar they, I don't Walmart, remember who, was all, was, who them, yeah. all was on them, but it was yeah. a bunch <clears> of them. <throat> because when they tested their products, out of 25 products, only four out of 25 had what it said on the label. So that's what you're going to run into a lot of times is not actually getting what you pay for. And so if you're tr wanting to take vitamins for a problem, you need to spend a little money and do something that's going to help or you're wasting your money in, in the Cheryl, long run. Yeah, Cheryl, this is something I always explain to people. They say, well, but, you know, these vitamins are so, so, so cheap. They're the most expensive thing you can buy because you're totally wasting your money. And that's, that's totally they're going to cost you something expensive. Now, if you buy a good nutrient package that might cost you, you know, five times what you pay for something off the shelf, and you think, gosh, that's really expensive. If it's in the right form, like Janine said, and the right kinds of nutrients and the right amounts of nutrients, then it's it's not. Yeah, the uh, amounts uh, make a big difference. A lot of people take a, a tiny bit of something where they need a big, big amount to help a problem. So it's Correct. different when you're taking it when you're healthy and for prevention as if you're trying to help a problem. Exactly. Now, like your, your husband being diabetic, for his nerve pain, the best thing he can do is control his blood sugar. So it's better for him to watch what he eats. All right. Thank, Thank you very much, Cheryl. Um, Todd from Biloxi, uh, we'll get to your phone call in just a moment. We've got to take a quick break here, quick commercial break, but uh, hang on, Todd. We'll be back with you in just a moment with our little final segment here of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy with Dr. Jim and Janine Fox of Doctors Nutrition. And welcome back to our final segment this morning of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy with Dr. Jim and Janine Fox of Doctors Nutrition. Uh, we've got Todd from Biloxi on the phone. Go ahead, Todd. Yes, I have a question. Um, are those two people chiropractors? Yes, yeah. we are, and that was what we were going to talk about next, the structural problems, but we are trained as chiropractors. We have not actually done chiropractic in about 20 years. We do more natural medicine, but we are trained as chiropractors. Okay. Yeah, I think everything you all said is complete nonsense. Why <laughs> would you say that? MD would laugh at what you're saying. It's Excuse copper. me? I think any reputable medical doctor would laugh Everything you've just said on there is complete nonsense. Okay, I think right? you need to do some research because everything that we've mentioned today has been researched, and there's even a medical paper that was written in neurology that was a published paper on all the deficiencies that cause neuropathies. So maybe you need to do a little research before you get on and say that something's nonsense. Right. Okay, and Todd bailed out. So. And Todd bailed out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because what we do, what we talk about, we really do research, and we see it, and we see it every day. Well, also. we see it clinically too, but we mm -hmm. look at the research, you know, and like I say, you know, Todd should have stayed on with us a little bit longer because we, we do look at that research. Like you said, that, yeah. that uh, published article in, in neurology and, you know, just like the, the, the current research of this week, we were looking at things like came up with resveratrol, how it protects the neural stem cells, right. uh, how the, you know, ginkgo biloba actually helped, uh, you know, nerve factors that they say, well, this is above and beyond uh, this, the blood flow, which has always been a talked about. That was published just this month right. in, in, in current research. And even on the copper deficiency that he wanted to bring up, mm -hmm. we even mentioned that you shouldn't just go out and take a bunch of copper. No, Because not, not everybody is no. copper deficient. Check in the nutrients and knowing where you are is what's important. It's why you do blood work. It's That's why you why do you blood do work. work. That's, why That's what we to. say every right. week. Okay. Every week. But speaking of, well, we were going to talk about some structural problems since we are trained as chiropractors. Mm -hmm. We do want to mention a lot of times the neurological system is affected by structural problems. And those and, can be taken care yeah, of by chiropractors. and they can be taken mm -hmm. care of by, you know, we haven't actually done chiropractic in a long time because we don't have time doing the natural medicine also. But we send people to chiropractors all the time. We do. So we do think it's very beneficial and it does help the structural problems. Yeah, if we recognize somebody's got a structural problem, you know, then we're going to refer you, you know, to a chiropractor. That's all there is to it. Mm -hmm. That's the first place to go. Okay, and somebody uh, had called and said yeah. wanted to, to elaborate more on uh, store brought, bought vitamins, uh, the big stores, the big stores uh, uh, between the name brands and uh, the generic, so to speak. You know, you know the that's big kind of hard because yeah, uh, because most of the time the big box stores, I mean, they're, they're only going to carry the, the lesser expensive of the things or the more of the synthetic kind of stuff. They're they're, they're selling you on price point. You know, buy one, get one free, that kind of thing. I mean, that's what they're selling. So they're selling on price point. Mm -hmm. and when that's when you look be at a lot stuff, of the research, because yeah. like we talked about research, mm -hmm. right. when you look at any research that's done, the research is done on pharmaceutical grade supplements. They're not done on just something they go grab right. off the shelf. 
And, you know, yes, you know, of course, anything you buy is going to be bottled and it's not what the exact maybe research was done on. And some things are. Some things, specific products have the research done on them. For instance, like on a ginkgo. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of times you can, you can buy a ginkgo leaf you know, and, and you'll see it list, listed as ginkgo biloba. The ginkgo that we use is the EGB761. That's the one that if you look back in the research, you know, all the years, I mean, it's going back sometimes 20 years or more, and you look at all that research, they always use that EGB761, and that's the standardized uh, extract of ginkgo, for instance. Right. And that's what you're looking for. You know, if it doesn't say that, you know, you're probably not getting what you paid for. That's right. Okay. okay. Um, someone called and said, how long are blood test results good for? Depends on what's going on. Depend, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it depends on if a problem, what we used to tell people, if they come in and they've had lab work done a year ago, mm -hmm. but their problem started six months ago. It's not good. Then you don't know. Probably and need to get new lab work. Even right. if you, and what we see in blood results, if you have somebody that did have a B12 deficiency and they've went and they're not still not taking any B12, likely is the year later, it'd still be deficient. Yeah. So it's, people do run patterns and we do see that, but a lot of times it does have to do with if they've been really sick, they might be deficient to where if they're not sick anymore, they might have helped that deficiency already. So it, it, that's really depends on the person. It depends on the person and the yeah. condition, right. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, I think we have just uh, a few minutes left, and we wanted to talk about uh, today's, uh, this week's special. Oh, yeah, oh, the yeah. special. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a special kind of a combination of B12 and that, that five is, what is it, uh, Monday, Thursday, Friday? This year? <laughs> the, the MTHF, that's a great one. I love that one. I take this. Okay. I take this. I take two a day. And the, and the reason is it's the, it's the methyl form of B12 and the methyl form of uh, folate. That's what that MTHF is is the methyl tetrahydrofolate. So you're getting a big dose of, an adequate dose of the B12, and it's a methyl form, it's not the cyanocobalamin, and you're getting the methyl tetrahydrofolate or the Monday, Thursday, Friday stuff, okay? <laughs> So, but you take it. You take it every day. Yeah. But, but I think it was Kim came up with that one. No, yeah, it was somebody yeah, else. Somebody else. Yeah. Oh, somebody called the story. No, okay. Kim's, Kim's is the XYZ. She's in it. Right. Okay, the XYZ. Okay. Uh, uh, Cecile, I believe it is from from Hurley. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What, what can we do for you? Uh, sir, I have diabetic nerve pain. Mm -hmm. What is the best medication to take for that? Uh, now, medication wise, I'm you know. I, I think you'd have to, would have what to. What do you recommend? Okay. Oh, we recommend a lot of the nutrients, and you know that we've actually got a, a combo called Neurochondria. Mm -hmm. That's a, a combination of all these various nutrients, specifically for uh, that nerve damage. That's the one we typically use the most to help for, to help you know. repair. But if right. your blood sugar is high, we always recommend that control the blood sugar. Got to control it because if you're dam if you keep damaging, it doesn't matter what you're doing to try to heal; it's not going to work. Right. So you definitely got to get that blood sugar down. That's the number All one. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you much for your time. call. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you. Of course, that one word we always say is bad: sugar. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, sugar. The, the glycation <laughs> really is uh, glycation, and we've talked about that time and time again, from sugar, and that is really what causes a lot of this nerve damage, and we happen to see it in the you know the the feet and legs more you know than anything mm -hmm. because of the pooling of the blood there. Uh, but it can happen anywhere. You can have that, that uh, damage to any, anywhere in the nervous system. You really can. So that's the number one thing. Get rid of sugar. Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate everybody's calls. And, of yeah. course, if you have any calls for yeah. the doctor, uh, any questions for the doctors, again, you can call them 897-0070. The doctors are at the office there on Callan Road, south mm -hmm. of Pass Road, Monday through Thursday between 10 and 5. Um, and, there, of course, they've got a great staff of people there that are there actually six days a week. Um, they're there through uh, 10, to 7, 10 to 5 on Friday and uh, 11 till 2 on Saturday. Next week, talking about something that, um, you know, a lot seems, of people have. A lot of people have it, and you can actually have it when you're younger. You can. Yeah. It's, yes. it's arthritis. Right. Mm -hmm. Depending on your jobs something. and things that you do, especially with your work, your hands and right. stuff a lot. Anything, right. They, they, they can have a tendency to... Um, have degeneration. Know. There you go. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> That's why you're the doctor. So anyway, thank you again for being with us this morning, our Monday morning live edition. Of course, this will be rebroadcast on Friday at 9 o'clock here on WLOX-CBS. Have a great week. Always remember to live healthy and be healthy.